been getting a lot of comments about how I give in to my intrusive thoughts. And honestly, I can't argue with that. But what you might not know is that some of my recent videos were actually inspired by your comments. That's right, the tungsten cube, pipe wrench, and cheese grater videos were all thanks to your suggestions. And now I'm testing yet another idea from one of my viewers. Grater79 proposed using a sock filled with hardware supplies such as screws, nuts, bolts, and nails. Ultimately suggesting that it would be more effective than Captain America's shield as a self-defense tool. Of course, he warned me not to try it twice, but I can't back down from a good experiment. So I got myself some socks and hardware items to see if Crater 79's theory is correct. Will it be more damaging than a shield that fractured my shin? And can it be used for self-defense? Well, let's find out together, but please don't try this at home. Or anywhere else. Yeah, like a place where they do construction, a construction yard. Don't hit your fellow construction workers with the sock filled with nails. I mean, you probably have the socks and the nails, but I'm not suggesting you ever do this. No, you didn't get this idea from us. You got it from Crater79. <laughs> As you can see, we got a bunch of socks, screws, nails, bolts, washers even, you name it, I bought it. But before I get hit with a sock filled with these items, we are first going to test out what can happen to a pumpkin here. So I filled this sock with a bunch of nails and screws. As you can see, a nail is even poking out of the top there. And we're gonna see what happens, because I'm gonna be honest, I think this could get a little data filled. You know, we lost a lot of data today. How? The wall's fixed. Yeah. yeah. There's so a lot of data don't, on that wall. Don't hit it. It'd be a shame. If someone hit it, yeah. Look how beautiful this wall is. What are we gonna do with it? Leave it as it is. Lazy. What, what, what do you mean? Paint it. Ah, oh, I guess we could do that. What color should we paint this wall? Blood red. Then we want to see your the data. That's right. Piss yellow. It'll look like pizza. <laughs> the sock is currently filled with a bunch of nails and screws of different sizes. Specifically curious about what happens when the sharp pointy things poke through the sock. So that's what we're gonna test here. Now you notice we're inside with a fresh new piece of drywall and also a very bright light to film slow-mo. Mark, activate the light. Full power. God damn it! You're under arrest. For what? For what? There's nothing wrong with you. So I'm not under arrest? April Fools. 150% <laughs> power here, just give it all you got. Ooh, bounced. As you can see, as I suspected, some of the nails and screws poked into the you can see the screws right there. Yeah, you can even see the screw imprinted onto it. That's some good data. That could like be me. This is close to your leg. I feel like this is like what your leg is going to look like. Consistency, yeah. You should get these pumpkins more often. They are good. Yeah. But uh, it's the season. I can't get them all the time. I feel like hmm, you're a little softer. Okay, that was uncalled for. I wasn't even flexing. All right, you win. That's right. Let me take a swing at it. Oh my gosh. Uh. We just, no, you just cleaned this up. That's a, well, we learned something there. Okay, maybe two socks. Yeah. God damn it, Houston. Get the broom. <laughs> Some interesting data on the pumpkin. As you can see, that hit had enough force to split her. Not break her completely in half, but what's more interesting is the nail stuck sideways into the pumpkin. Could that be me? It'd be really cool. It would. I'd, I'd like it for the data. You're about to say you would like it. No, 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 I'd, I'd you like it your, for the you, scientific knowledge that was gained. You corrected yourself halfway through that sentence. I'm concerned. I just didn't fully finish my thought. Now you're making me feel bad. Good, because it's weird. Says a guy holding four big nuts. I can hold six. <laughs> <laughs> Up first on the human trials, I got a bunch of tiny nails, some smaller than others. We're gonna fill a sock with a bunch of them. Gonna be a ton of tiny nails. We're gonna hit me in the upper body, see what happens. You think the yeah, these nails will go into you? I hope so. Or you'd be disappointed if they don't. Kind of, yeah. It's like. Like, my whole idea here was for them to penetrate me. Have you ever been nailed? 
No, have you? I don't think so. It's been pegged. What? <laughs> what is... Anyways, uh, tiny nails. <laughs> it may not look like much, but there's a ton of tiny nails in here. We're gonna swing this into my upper back, see what happens. This is kind of like a proof of concept. I'm thinking 50% power swing here. 50? Okay. Upper back. Stay away from my spine, please. I'll do my best. <laughs> it's the stretch. This. <laughs> Ooh. I saw it for a split second. It like froze right here and all the nails popped out of the sock. That was, oh. that was crazy. I like it, I like it. Oh. Oh, they're still up. See, that's a good data right there. Quality data. It's gonna look cool in slow mo. Now, what's the data look like? Is there anything happening? Uh, some little pokes. Little pokes. I'm not happy with that. Let's up that up to 75% power, please. You got it. <laughs> that was 75. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my gauges are. Accurate. <laughs> See, there's just a little blood. If I do 100, there'll be a lot of blood. Honestly, mostly blunt feeling. Mm -hmm. Poking didn't really get me that bad. No stabby. No stabby. A lot of, bl a lot of blunt right now. 100% power, same-ish area, please. Oh, is there a nail stuck in my back? Nope. Because it feels <laughs> like there's a nail in my back. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like that nail. Just got hammered into my back. <laughs> Looks good. Does it look fine? Yeah. No, it's getting worse every moment. Oh. So we at least concluded with this test that the nails do in fact poke through and stab the person somewhat. Of course. Yeah, I think we knew that from the outset, but mm -hmm. let's mix up the items a little bit. Maybe some screws perhaps? Yeah, screws. Let's, let's screw me. Let's get screwed. <laughs> yeah. That would, you know, get the screw screwball drink. That's not what I was Screwdriver, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just fill a sock full of these? That's uh, really, uh, maybe too many, maybe too many. Uh, let's at least choke out the top. <laughs> let's add another sock, yes. First sock, I had a catastrophic failure. Look at that, double the sock, double the striking potential. Okay. Fucking salami. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay, no, it's not that. I'd say that's about five pounds of screws. Since it's so heavy, we'll swing this one to my leg. Right here, let's get a nice, maybe, wrap around action. It's full in that, that hole right there. Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll look good. If we can get a few more scabs, mm -hmm. I like it. 50% power. <clears throat> you know? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it doesn't feel pleasant. So we can go straight to 100? If it's not Let's bad. see, 75. Uh, how's the sock looking? Good, good. You know, maybe it just needs a little bit more time to get warmed up. Nothing really penetrated through so much. 70% power. Let's see what happens. 75. Ah! Wow, okay, that was much worse. Something stabbed me, for sure. Ooh. <sighs> it's good. It's packing down into the sock more, isn't it? A little blood there. Instant. Where is that from? It's ripping a little bit too. I think it's becoming more of a condensed ball. Yeah. The more you swing it. Yeah, I feel it like get some backlash on the outside of your thigh. So it does stab you. I was hoping for more of a more of a flail scenario. You know, just spikes everywhere. Seems like this the spikes aren't as prevalent as I was hoping. Give me one a little bit harder, and then I have a brilliant idea. 85%. Also, I'm not gonna react on this one. Absorb the data, and then uh, formulate the next step of action. After that, everyone can like the video, please. Just <laughs> 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 play funny mode. You can hit your funny bone. There's an idea. That's another comment someone suggested. Yeah. Uh, I've been too scared. <laughs> oh, that's got about the whole not reacting thing. That was a big swing. Oh, I guess. Out of the park. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? Good. That was a lot of data to take in. <laughs> might, have, might have been a hundred. Yeah.
<laughs> so it's Mark's error is why I reacted. I was fully ready for 85% is what I want to say. I think you're just getting old. I'm 29 years young, okay? Do one more is a good faith measure. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, uh, we can confirm that was a hard hit. Uh, instantly bruised, some data leakage. I did react, which was against the deal. Um, so we're gonna do one more hit with that sock, and uh, then I won't react just to honor the deal. I can totally do that. Just make sure it's 85% this time, okay? I've never seen you run outside the garage and take a seat from a hit. I needed to process some things, you know, do some mental math. <laughs> Maybe like, I should stop reading comments and then doing the ideas. Yeah, that's a good idea. To be fair, the person did tell me not to do this idea they did. twice. Yeah. There's a lot of things you don't do. You're right. You know. Until I end up doing them. Pain's an infinite category of content. Easy YouTube glitch that no one should do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Can't they even fell for that. Well done. Stoic man. He deserves a like. Do it for Houston. He's got to feed this big body with good protein. So give him a like. How much protein do you need in a day? I'm happy you asked. Usually anywhere from between one gram to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. So I'm in the range of like 205 to like 250-ish. Protein costs a lot. I shit a lot too. Thank you for your insight. <laughs> <laughs> it works. But after that happened, I realized there's a better way to load the sock. Sure, on a spur of the moment thing, you know, you're at the construction site and you're like, you know what? I need to get a ton of screws and nails in this sock so I can defend myself. That would work still. But what if you had a little time to prepare? Let me show you what I'm talking about here. For this one, we're gonna want a, maybe a more hefty duty working man sock. See the work socks? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we want a sock that can uh, really take a load. I can't believe they're black. What? Go ahead, explain that. Your feet get so much warmer. How can you work harder in warmer socks? You know, black makes a good point. It absorbs the sun. Now, think about this, okay? The nails we've just been piling in like that, but what if we strategically put them sideways in? It's not gonna work. Oh, come on, get, get, get in there. Perfect. Yeah, load a whole sock up of sideways nails. I'll do more at a time. The idea here is we're making a spiked flail out of a sock. Why not just use a spiked flail? Well, this is much cheaper, assuming you don't buy way too many. Because that would be redundant. Houston's not trying to be redundant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the homemade spiked flail, okay, for every day use. Break. Mark had a really good idea, Jake. Look at what we're doing here. I would even go as far as to say it's genius. Guys. <laughs> We're poking the nails through the sock. So we're scratching the original idea? It just didn't work. You know, it's just devolving into what we've already done. And this channel's all about experimentation, okay? You give me an idea and a comment, and look what we make out of it. Stop telling us to stub his toe with a nail against a wall. <laughs> They're not gonna do it, Unless probably, do. probably. Unless you pay. Probably. Someone pays five. I'm not that desperate for video ideas yet. <laughs> <laughs> Our creation is almost complete. As you can see, the nails are all poking out on both sides. It's pretty much now a spiked flail. The only thing missing is the weight behind it. So we're gonna load it up with some nuts. Go ahead, Mark, throw some nuts in there. Yeah, yes, we're geniuses. That was your idea. Well, that was my idea. There's a combination of ideas, okay? Yes. We're geniuses together. Proof of concept for this creation we've made. 50% power again. I feel like uh, that's a good starting ground for something like this. So 50% power right here. See, you're okay. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay. It's lighter though, it's lighter. It is. So that means I have to swing harder. You do. Or, <laughs> No, not the big ones. This is why I bought a bunch of big washers. You see? You guys say I buy too many things for videos. You do buy it. 
But this is the scenario where we needed it. Let's do a 60% power hit, just a slightly harder. <laughs> Lost a nail. Oh, did you now? Mm -hmm. oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe we just hammered it. Did you lose a be bearing? Our creation is getting destroyed, Mark. Yeah, it's... Look how effective that was, though. That was pretty good. Dang. Well, I think we need to see what it can do before it explodes. Let's give it one more swing, 75% power. Yeah, let's put that, those back in there and see if the sock explodes. That'll be cool. <laughs> was it cool? Oh, so cool! <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Oh! So what's the next weapon? <laughs> oh, I think we just put everything in it now. We just throw everything in. It definitely penetrates. Oh, oh no. Even hit the inside of my leg. The inner artery. My femoral artery. Probably hasn't been punctured yet. Yet. <laughs> Until we do the final sock. Everything we got left, throw it in a sock. <laughs> <laughs> Hefty sock here. We got nuts, screws, nails. This is pretty much what the comet alluded to. The ultimate test, if you will. You're a, you're a comet pleaser. I am, I'm a people pleaser. Mm, good guy. I please people so hard, they just keep coming back. That's a good thing. What can I say? I know how to get the audience off. I mean, there's probably a better way to put that. I'll, I know how to get the audience going. Yeah, a little better. So I get to hit. 50% power swing with the assorted sock onto my left leg. Hmm. Yeah, we can up the power. Um, I felt mostly the nuts at the bottom. I want to feel a little bit more of the pokey. I want to get penetrated a little bit, huh? Can you penetrate me? I'm glad I'm not looking you in the eye. Otherwise, it'd be... 65% power. <laughs> oh, that was a... That was weird. The bargain bin here, the, the value pack of the sock is uh, leaving some to be wanted. I, uh, I think we need to go 75%, 80, 85. Oh. Oh. Oh, my leg don't work, I don't think. Thanks for putting on deodorant today. Every morning, unless I forget. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go. I'm sorry. That was rude. I didn't mean it. You can hit me if you want. Then we can be even. Just do it quick. No. We don't got all day. I'm not, this isn't me playing it up. My leg don't bend so well. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of lumpy. Oh my God. Uh, oh, now I feel really bad. <laughs> I thought you were playing that up. No. Nope. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all about to be okay. Oh, no, I, I was just kidding earlier. It's fine. Just stand right here in front of the light. I'm going to lose the light. The best part is you kind of hit some of these nails through, so oh. hope you don't like these pants too much. I just got them last week. Get your hand out of the way. <laughs> Nothing, you didn't break it. Ah, oh, wow, that third, like, thoughts? Well, I was expecting the worst. That was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a middle, middle swing. I, would, I put a little into it, but not too much. Felt like a sucker puncher from Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's just heavy, it's just heavy. Good Lord. Do you? Legs just hurt the whole video while you're just, you know. My legs hurt 24 seven. My knees hurt too. <laughs> it's not normal. It's not? <laughs> <laughs> Quick data review. You started on my back. What's there? Data. That's a, that's a good thing to hear. It's what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Those tiny nails were pokey. They are. We then moved on to my legs. That's a contusion. Yep, lumpy, data leaking. Other leg, a lot more data leaking, a little less lumpy. I don't think the sock was as, as heavy on this side. I learned a lot 
The worst sock, yeah. Out of every sock filled with something I've tested, by far the most potential, but I'll give my final review a couple days from now. Let you all know what I think about a sock filled with hardware items. We're gonna do butter socks. Do you guys wanna see a butter sock? Let me know in the comments, maybe I'll do it. It really only takes one person to say me, say to do something and then I do it. It's a big pushover. Buy a hot tub? Buy a hot tub, two people said it. Ring a ding ding. I think, uh, I think it's about time guys to hot tub video. wrap everything up, huh? Good job everyone. We'll be in the hot tub next week. It's time for the hardware sock data review. Four days after the experiment, I had a bunch of scabs on my back from the tiny nails in the sock. Then I had fairly substantial bruising along with more scabs on both my legs from the heavier socks we tested. In terms of overall effectiveness and ease of use, I have to agree with Crater79's comment and say that a sock filled with hardware supplies is more effective of a self-defense tool than the Captain America shield I tested in a previous video. While I did get punctured by a few nails and screws, it wasn't nearly to the extent I was expecting. The majority of the pain and damage I experienced actually came from the sheer weight of some of the socks we tested. But those are just my thoughts. I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget, invest in tube socks because you never know when you might need to use one as a self-defense tool.